Wait, oh, there was a moist critical one. This is the last video that we're going to watch on the leak. I'm sure you've all heard about it. Twitch was hacked. Yesterday, something crazy happened, and I'm sure you've all heard about it. Twitch was hacked. They were blasted by the notorious hacker known as 4chan. This Mr. 4chan was able to infiltrate the mainframe itself, jacking directly into the cyberspace and releasing a ton of information about Twitch and the streamers on the platform. It was similar to what happened with the fappening, if you remember that. The fappening was when a bunch of celebrity nudes leaked at all at once, and yesterday Twitch experienced its own version of the fappening. University but so a lot less cool. It was mainly in streamer income that got released. However, the whole hack was like 235 gigabytes, I believe, and it was labeled part one. So the hackers are already teasing a season two of this anime here. They're leaving it on a cliffhanger, so it's just an appetizer, apparently. But the main thing that everyone was focusing on yesterday from this hack was streamer income because they publicly released every streamer's income since 2019. And I, I want to talk about that a little bit before going into, like, the hack itself, which is a pretty fucking wild thing. I don't know what's going to be in part two. I guess it could be something even crazier, like what he found fuck? Jeff Bezos' dick pics embedded deep in Twitch's code or something. That would be pretty wild. Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if in part two this dude reveals that he found the Twitch Konami code. You know, like, kind of like how in Melee you can play as Master Hand with, like, some cheats and some mods. This dude found that equivalent for Twitch, and he's able to just look at Jeff Bezos' wiener. You know, I, I don't know what to expect, but it's apparently, like, wild stuff. But the thing that I'm going to focus on is the streamer income, since that was the hot topic yesterday. I want to start by saying Seems that I think this is the least important topic of this entire hack. They claim that they got the source code of Twitch as well as some other extremely sensitive things, but for some reason all of that was overshadowed by the fact that they released streamer's income. So they, he released an entire write-up of every I'm single streamer's income since 2019 and everyone lost their fucking mind. I made a video talking about this. It is publicly available. What the fuck is this to show you that I'm in doing this in good faith? This was me in 2011 getting dragged for the same fucking thing. I love to chat more about this, but what the fuck? Occupy Wall Street protester wants you to pay him to tweet the revolution. What? Tweeting the revolution as he puts it with meticulous updates of the daily general assemblies? Ultimately, without your support, I need to yield to existential realities. Mr. Troop explains in his mission statement. Bro, okay, listen. The difference between this, what you're saying about this, don't worry, I'm a good faith clown, and what I do right now is that I was able to build capital by fucking uh, working at the Young Turks, which I was very uh, lucky to, and, uh, you know, through nepotism, was able to work at the fucking Young Turks and build enough fucking money, uh, build enough capital, so that I could fucking do this on the side without people, you know, uh, paying me at first. Like, I don't consider what I do to be, like, tweeting the revolution. Build capital, work at TYT, choose one. No, build capital through my fucking work at TYT. Does it ever get tiring having to apply modifiers to your statements? Like when I got a job at TYT because of nepotism or because I'm very successful because I got lucky, etc. I don't, I know why you do it. Just wondering if you ever get bored of it. No, I don't get bored of it. I think it's important to acknowledge that, especially because like it's an important part of what I believe in. And what I believe in literally is that meritocracy is a lie and that uh, a profound amount of luck factors into success. All right, let's just keep Available going. information to at least get a close estimate for what any streamer makes on that Less platform. Sub numbers, subscriber numbers are public. And a subscriber is $5 a month at tier one or prime. There's a tier two and tier three, which aren't factored in here. But just to give you a base, assume everything's tier one. If you take their sub number and multiply that by 2.5 or 3.5, you get a very close guess as to what that streamer is making. And that's just from subs. 
Now it's 2.5 or 3.5 because Twitch obviously takes a cut of that $5 sub. Is this poor bitch again? This is just assuming every sub is a tier one or a prime, which obviously they all aren't. He's not. What was released yesterday in the leak is the streamer's total income from subs and ads. I believe it was ads factored in there as well. And people acted like it was some big sistery, like a big gotcha moment, like this is the smoking gun. This was the hole in the condom that we needed to find. It turns out these streamers are making money on the platform. Even though all of it's been public information from the get-go, the only thing that is a mystery, I guess, is how much gets made from ads. And even then, I'm not sure that those numbers even factor that in. I'm only going off what I read there and the numbers they posted for me. I'm assuming ads are factored in there because if they are, then the number they posted for me is pretty close to the monthly. Now, the thing is, though, the only thing they really did is they did all the math for you. If you just look at its Twitch streamer's subs and multiply by 2.5 or 3.5, and you do that across two years, the number you will get is very, very close to the number they posted. They just did the homework for you. But all of it's public, so I don't know why people lost their fucking mind. Like, look at this! It turns out Twitch streamers are making a lot of money on the platform, as if they just found the Krabby Patty secret formula. It takes only a little bit of common sense and a little bit of just thinking rationally for a second to recognize like, uh, when I give this streamer a prime or I pay five, fifteen, twenty-five dollars to a streamer, they get money for that. It's, you know, like it's not a hard concept to wrap your head around. And exactly how much they get also isn't a mystery when the, the numbers, the sub numbers are literally public in your face. Some streamers have their sub count on the screen in front of them at all times. They are begging you to do the math to see how much money they make. And yes, it's a lot. That's no surprise. I've been saying for fucking years, streamers make a ton of money, significantly more than people seem to think they do. Even when the numbers are right in front of them, they still like to believe that the streamers they enjoy aren't well off for some reason. And when they find out that they do have money, a lot of people feel betrayed, as we saw yesterday, which is weird. People were getting mad at me, like, oh, so Charlie, it turns out you make money on Twitch. You're ranked 22 in the world on Twitch in terms of earning. How fucking disgusting. How could you mislead us, Charlie? And I just don't get it, because I'm not misleading anyone. Just because I'm not some douchebag who flexes their wealth all the time doesn't mean that I don't have money. I know. This is, uh, this is the best fucking take, dude. This is what I... This is the best part about this fucking take. Is, is that... Like... I mean, people say I fucking... This is pretty funny. After you told us YouTubers make way more... Yeah, his, his YouTube fucking is probably caked, dude. Like, absolutely fucking caked. Like, what do you want me to do, man? I think it's people like Saikuno who bait subs donors regardless of being insanely well off. I don't even know if he was like actually fucking baiting. People are saying that it was a joke and some people took it seriously whenever he was like, time to pay the fucking water bill, I guess, or some shit like that. But anyway, people are literally mad that you have a lot of money and don't flaunt it in their fucking face. The contradictions. Yeah, I mean, it's nuts. 27 times five. Only in an angry small group. Most of us understand the quality of anything we get streamers and hours and comparison to something like Netflix. Yeah. I know I dress like a cartoon character and all that, but it doesn't mean that I am not well off. I'm extremely lucky and fortunate to be in the position that I'm in, and I make that very clear all the time. I understand how Bro, this is like literally this is <laughs> we're basically just watching uh, Charlie say the exact same things I've said thus far like verbatim word for fucking word yeah i am to be in the position that i am i don't go on stream and put on an act and pretend to be broke like oh guys i'm starving and hungry i can't afford warm clothing so when winter comes around it's always miserable yesterday i was eating chicken fries off of the burger king bathroom floor and I just don't know how much longer I can do this without your primes. We, I need your primes in order to survive. I'm, I'm actually starving to death. I was drinking water out of a dumpster just to get by because it was the only free water I had access to. I need your primes. I don't do that shit. So I've never One misled one. anyone. I've always been very upfront about the lucky situation I found myself in. I understand when a lot of you look at me, you assume I'm homeless. But as I've stated multiple times, I'm in an extremely lucky position. And you're... Uh, yeah, it's because this motherfucker wears one t-shirt, bro. That's how the rich keep... That's how the rich stay richer, okay? Let me tell you something, folks. That's how they fucking stay rich, dog. Look at this. He just saves up all of his goddamn money by wearing the same fucking shirt over and over again, dude. Look at that.
You want to know, like, the most incredible thing that's going to blow some fucking minds out here? I'm about to break the magician's code, apparently. The numbers that were released in the leak yesterday are wrong. They're too low. The streamers on that list, right. every single one of them, uh, well, at least for, like, the top 100, are making significantly more than is represented on those leaks. Okay, so I wouldn't say he's right I for... To see what's your like, thought, how some of this country's... I'm, I'm one of the... And this is not, like, a flex. This is nothing. But I'm one of the few streamers that does not have like multiple revenue streams with the exception of YouTube. Like I do an ad deal months. once every fucking two to three months, uh, where I will like play a video game or something. If it's like a good cop on dude, you definitely make way more dog. I literally fucking release my IP. I'm so sick and tired of this fucking idiotic take where it's like, dude, you're Asshole. secretly, you have like so many, you have so much going on, dude. I mean, I do. And it's a lot of fucking money. Like, even the additional revenue that I generate on fucking accident, you know, is more than what, uh, more than what people will make in a year. You know what I mean? That's the truth. That's where I'm at in my career. And that's where I'm at in the fucking industry that I'm in. Okay? I'm not lying to you. I'm not hiding that truth. Like, that's just, that is the reality. But... The overwhelming majority of my income, more than 90% of my income comes directly from that top fucking corner right there. I find that to be the most stable and most reliable way to, to, uh, do whatever the fuck I do. I don't want, uh, like that might change. I might get like ad deals in the future. I might get more ad deals in the future. I'm working on, um, ethically sourced garment production at the moment. You guys know all this. This is something that you fucking demand all the goddamn time. But most of my income comes from the subscriptions. Is Ethan not giving you a share? Oh, he is. I haven't even fucking signed the deal yet. I, I got to do that. Those leaks only cover subs and ads. They are not covering the donations through Streamlabs because that doesn't go through Twitch, so they wouldn't have access to those numbers. And they're also not counting sponsors, and they're also not counting Twitch contracts. A lot of the top 50 streamers on there have contracts with Twitch, which add a significant chunk of money to streamers' income. And those are not represented there. XQC is on there at like 8.6 mil or something like that, and you're fucking crazy if you think that's all he's making from Twitch. And I oh, didn't yeah. think any of this information was something top secret or fucking world changing where people's universes are melting around them right now and they're questioning everything. They don't even trust their own fucking parents anymore because maybe they're successful Twitch streamers somewhere. Like, I, I thought all of this was common knowledge for most people because it's all right in your face. You most of the information is just right there at your fingertips. Just look at their sub number and do basic tits. math and you get a very close guess on what they're pulling in. What, what really shocks me about this whole thing is how big of a deal it was, A, and B, how many people felt betrayed by streamers they liked because it turns out they're successful. Like, Let's make you, you know, one I loved you. Back. You know, I fucking loved you, Soda Poppin, until I found out that you actually are pretty wealthy. Now, I, I, I don't know if, like, people unironically were mad, though. Like, I don't know how many people were, like, legitimately mad. I think most people just, like, made a meme out of it. If there's only a group of people that were, like, legitimately mad, they weren't even mad about the fact that, like, I was making money. They were just mad at me regardless beforehand. And they just used as a vehicle to fucking moralize about their anger. Um, I don't think anyone, not a single person got mad. As a matter of fact, a lot of the people that did get mad at me for legitimate fucking reasons in their minds, because they thought it was legit, would then turn around and be like, it's okay that XQC is making millions of dollars. It's not okay that Hasanabi is making millions of dollars because he believes in wealth redistribution while he's simultaneously wealthy himself. And Hoping this the thing I don't understand is like, but you guys three. fucking pog like crazy when XQC says anything that's like halfway fucking based. Like XQC will literally be like, I don't, dude, I don't think the poor should die, dude. And then everyone's like, I'm pogging right now. This is so based. This is so based, dude. Oh my fucking God, dude. Oh my fucking God. He's so right. And it's awesome. And he is a nice person. And I do think that he, ha he holds values like this. Something that I talk about regularly right but it's so fucking wild to me that people are like oh dude he's a, my juicer dude he's a socialist dude oh so based and it's so weird like <laughs> you, you know what i'm saying like <laughs>
I just... I just spit on you. And you make me fucking sick. I can't stand the sight of you anymore. You know, like, what... For some reason, people want the people they like to not be successful. Or they only want them to be successful up until a certain point. It's like music hipsters. When they find an artist that they find that's a little underrated and then that artist gets big, they get fucking mad about it. Like, God, I love this artist until they became successful. Now I fucking hate them. Well, I liked them before it was cool and now I hate them. You know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. And I don't like that perspective or that mentality at all. For some reason, there was a thread about how I'm a hypocrite because I called out a greedy Twitch streamer in a video once, and then it turns out that I make money on the platform. How are those two things related at all? I was literally criticizing them because they were greedy on a platform where they are making a ton of money to begin with. So sitting on stream and shaming your viewers for not giving you more money when you're already making thousands upon thousands of dollars from them supporting you is greedy. And me calling that out doesn't make me a hypocrite just because it turns out I also make a lot of money from Twitch. The difference is I am not sitting there begging for it and yeah. demanding my followers give me money. I'm not sitting there sniffing my own farts, hand on my balls, saying like, guys, I'm not starting the stream till I get a hype train of level five. I need a hundred subs right now or I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not streaming. You know, these streams aren't free. You're gonna have to give me fucking tier twos, tier threes, tier ones, give me your primes. I'm fucking, I'm fucking gluttonous. I need it all right now. I'm, I'm going full blown Mr. Krabs. You know, I'm not sitting there doing that. I'm just streaming and I just get lucky that there's so many kind people that just want to show support to the stream and support the members within the community. It doesn't go deeper than that. And this wasn't some like nefarious secret that I was trying to keep under wraps like, fuck, I hope no one realizes that I actually make money on Twitch. It's all been right there the entire time. And I'm not hiding anything. And I can't recall seeing any streamer hiding the fact that they're very successful the on the platform. You know, like Hassan, for example, he get, he's getting eaten alive for the fact that his money has come out. It, he publicly shows his subscriber count, like, right above his face cam. You can see, like, 50,000 subs. It takes an actual toddler to just look at that and be like, that's a high number. And each of those numbers represents a dollar amount. Like, that's a lot of money, right? Like, it, it's not that hard. You know, it shouldn't be content. surprising to anyone that streamers are making a lot of money. All of it has been public. For as long as I can remember Twitch existing. Now, of course, all of this coming out has led to the classic argument that's been around since the internet's inception of they don't deserve that money. These streamers, they don't deserve any of that. Firefighters don't make that much money. My mom's a librarian and she makes half that amount of money. This is bullshit. They shouldn't have that at all. Now, whether or not you think streamers deserve that much money, that's going to be entirely on you. I'm not here to change your opinion or perspective on it. I'm not your dad. I'm not going to take the belt to you if you think differently than I do about it. I do, it doesn't really... The most annoying thing streamers monetizing their reaction to people noticing their money law? I mean, dude... I mean, that is, that's content, dude. When you got fucking content dome, that's how it works. It's not something I'm trying to argue, but it's something you could say for pretty much everything else. Like, it's a win-win overall. It's a good opportunity to make easy content off of it. Streamers monetize everything. Also, for me specifically, I like fucking blowing off steam. Like, it's just, it's fucking annoying. You will never understand most likely like i'm Shane profoundly privileged you guys know this already i don't have to fucking qualify it all the goddamn time but like i am profoundly privileged okay profoundly 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 privileged very lucky but it's not nice to fucking constantly get you know shredded in the ass like non-fucking stop so it's it's fun to just like blow off some steam and like push back against it and make fun of fucking clowns for for saying idiotic things, you know what I mean? Else, when it comes to entertainment, why are athletes making that much pass. money, right? Yeah, they spend a lot of time in their sport, they're extremely good at it, but at the end of the day, it's just entertainment for you as a spectator. You pay money to go to their games to watch them play for an hour and a half, two, three hours, whatever sport you're I going to, to you and then you rich. leave being entertained, hopefully, or heartbroken if your team sucks some asshole, and then that's it. Then you do it again next week. Or during the off season, you just get excited for when it comes back. Yeah, dude, Netflix. Me watching She's Netflix watching is labor, Netflix. actually. Like, I'm I'm literally doing labor when I watch Netflix. I'm doing labor when I listen to the new Donda album. Actually, Kanye West should be paying me to fucking listen to his music. Around, it's just entertainment that you are paying for at the end of the day. It's pretty much the same thing on Twitch. You have people that are really good at a game. They'll stream for like 16 hours at a time. You have 16 hours worth of entertainment, and maybe at some point across those 16 hours, you're like, you know what? 
I feel like tossing five bucks this dude's way. Almost he's yeah, he's entertaining me. It's been good company. It's been good background noise. I'll toss five dollars, and you forget about it. And that adds up. There's millions upon millions of viewers on Twitch around the world every month. So if you just have some people doing that, then the person that is entertaining people for 16 hours is getting five dollars pretty often. Like it's pretty simple. Actors is another one. Anything when it comes to entertainment. Why is Robert Downey Jr. getting paid so much money when he only has to work like three or four day, three or four months out of the year on a film, and he's making hundreds of millions of dollars? You could argue he doesn't deserve that much money because he's not putting in that much work, and he only entertains you for like two hours once a year at most with a movie. And you could say it for the music industry. Lil Pump releases a song where he just says Gucci Gang a hundred times. Does he deserve all the money he made from that? Like, it's just something that extends to everything in entertainment, and it truly just depends on what you find entertaining, and whether or not Added you play some- Why are you doing an ad every hour if you're rich? Yeet Uygu. This is a Turkish person, so he literally never sees ads, so the only streamer that actually announces that he's running an ad at the top of the hour, like myself, he's like, I don't understand. Why are you running ads at the, you know, no streamer runs ads. Hey, dumbass. Every streamer runs ads. They run fucking way more ads than I do. I literally, in the top 100 fucking streamers, out of all the fucking partners that got uh, contracts, I run the least amount of fucking ads. If Suck we my were dick. Texas, it would be too literally, to pound for pound, the least amount of fucking ads. 60 second ad density. And I also tell you, methods to fucking avoid those ads. Okay? You can avoid those ads. You can subscribe if you want for $5 or for free. With the Twitch Prime, you can also, if you don't want to subscribe, literally just fucking use an ad block, use a VPN. There's different ways of avoiding the ads. But here's the fucking woman ad now. The monetary value. You have statistics that support those claims. Um, a lot of this is not public information, so I don't know if anyone has like actually compiled it. Uh, I know that this is probably not a racism is bad. Don't know why you argue. Um, oh, this is a bad faith person I was taking seriously. Uh, yeah, just, uh, without, without an ad block or without a VPN or without being subscribed to a particular streamer, literally just fucking start, uh, watching a streamer. You'll understand what I mean. The ad density, the ad density for Misgive is significantly higher. I think like three times higher than mine. Uh, the ad density for XG is uh, higher than mine as well. Like a lot higher. Even Moon Moon himself, the man, the main man himself, runs three minutes of ads, and he did not want to do it. Most streamers run three minutes or more per hour. I run 60 seconds. Are you on entertainment? Like, it's just pretty simple. It's not a competition of, like, what's harder or what's more beneficial or productive. It's just a matter of whatever puts a smile on your face and if that's worth anything to you. Like, I just don't really know why streaming is the one that's targeted when it extends to everything in entertainment. It's, it's just not that deep. It's the same as every other entertainment field. It really is. The only difference is the amount of hours that go into it. Most, like I said, most big streamers stream daily for like eight hours a day. So they are constantly nice. online nice. entertaining Makes people. So Makes that's going to be a lot of different faces coming in every day at all hours of the day. And then at some point among all of those faces, someone decides to just support the stream and all of that adds up. So bingo, bango, bongo, the streamer makes a lot of money over time. I don't know why that's such a hard concept for a lot of people to grasp. It works the same way in every other entertainment field. And no one's like, holy shit, can you believe how much money actors make? What the fuck is this about? Or musicians, can you believe Lil Nas X actually makes millions of dollars? Like, I can't believe it. You know, like, no one's like shocked there, but for streamers, for some reason, it's a little Something different. I'm not a psychologist, but- It's because it's, uh, people are very familiar with their streamers. Like, they develop parasocial relationships. They, they feel close and personal with their streamers. And uh, when you're purchasing a fucking product that someone else has made. When you're purchasing a product that someone else has made, like, for example, like a fucking, uh, I don't know, album or some shit, you never think about it in a, in a similar capacity. Like, you just don't. You're like, I'm used to that. You, you, you understand that, like, artists are different.
Like artists are different. They're in a they're not like normal humans, but streamers are normal humans. So if I'm a normal human and the streamer I love is a normal human and I'm giving him five dollars, like Bingo. why the fuck is he you know responding to my criticisms, no matter how fucking ridiculous they are? But I'm gonna pretend to be one. I think the reason why people got so mad is because when it comes to streaming, a lot of viewers form some kind of relationship with the person they're watching, whether or not they want to admit it or whether or not they're even aware of it themselves. I feel like subconsciously, some viewers that regularly tune into a streamer want that streamer to be in the same position they are for the most part. So if a viewer's not financially well off and they see- Shut the fuck up, Chatters is saying pre wash We have the same take on this issue because he has the right take. That's the it. The streamer they like is, that probably builds a little bit of resentment and a little bit of betrayal because they have this, even if it's a small connection to this streamer where they feel like they're closer than they are or should be. So I think that's where it stems from. Streaming has always had a problem with parasocial relationships and I think the response to seeing streamer income really I helps know, I, no I don't buy albums to support little nas but i do sub money. to support streamers if the streamer is a lot richer than i thought then i'm going to be less likely to sub dude you've been subscribed to me for 17 fucking months and it literally says 50,000 in the top right corner what kind of fucking brain dead take is that only subscribe if you think this content that you watch day in day out for however many hours you do is fucking worth five dollars Everything is literally fucking free, okay? Following since 2018 Andy. This motherfucker's been here since I had 35 fucking viewers. Subscribe and he's like, and go beyond, man, I, blah, 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 you know, blah. I'm just not going to. I'm Okay. Let's highlight that. Like, it's not a mystery where it all comes from. And whether or not you think they deserve it, that's not something I'm here to argue with you about at all. But yeah, anyway, I think that covers like most of the things here. I think what people should be focused on with this leak is Exposed. what could happen. Having Twitch's source code completely out, as well as a couple of other things that are mentioned in the leak, is a huge deal that I think not enough people are focused on. The whole Twitch streamer income has completely overshadowed the most wild part about the entire thing. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about this because this is what everyone's been wanting to hear about. So I figured it was worth at least going over. That's about it. See ya.